Hello. All right. My, I don't have a Timu order for today's videos. Sorry. But re frankly, I'm quite relieved because I don't have to put anything away now. But I have to show you a few things and tell you about a few things that were brought up to me. And so it'll be just as good as Timu. Maybe be even better. Because, you know, we're all getting too much crap. And it's, I'm finding a hard time finding anything I want on there now. Because, but I'm going to, this next week, I'm thinking about what I'm going to televise on YouTube. I'm going to clean out my long sleeve shirts because I've never done that yet. I did my t-shirts and my sweaters, but not my long sleeve t-shirts. So I'm going to clean that part of my closet out. And then I'm going to, so I still haven't done the sunless tanning. I got to show you how to do that so you don't have streaks and everything. And then um, uh, there was something else I thought of. Well, anyway, when it comes to that time, you'll see it, okay? I want to thank that lady that told me to have a tissue near me always instead of just using my fingers. Thank you for that. I'm learning so much on here from you guys. And that spray, hairspray on your coat so then your makeup won't stick to it. I'm going to try that. Someone told me about, and they told me about on the glasses so they don't fog up. Men's shaving cream. Going to try that. Okay, I have my camera pointed here because I want to show you something. But my top of my head will get cut off when I show you this. Because I can't have both. This and this. So, you can't have everything. Because I don't have a cameraman. And I don't, I hate that camera that faces down. Because I never know which way to put it, to film it, to make it come out right. And I'm always a failure. So, somebody wanted to know how you print up the, my camera's crooked. Because I have to put it on this end because of the touch button. And then it makes it crooked. Sorry. All right. How you order personalized diamond arts. So, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. We get lazy with our grammar and our English, I think. A lot of us. I'm not alone. How many times do we go? And so I, I'm going to go for the red one, not the fur. We always say fur instead of four. I noticed, hey, everybody, she pronounces everything very well. I love her, too. I know a lot of people, you watch her and you watch me, too. I love her, too. I watch every show. It's like a habit. Every night I have to watch her. All right. So when you go to Temu, you... Type at the top in the search bar, type personalized diamond art, and they all come up. Okay, you see? Diamond arts. Now, each some of them has like, um, they will have eight different sizes. So, what I do is decide what size I want first. The frame, you got to get a frame that fits it, you know? You don't want like a 11 by 11 or some weird measurement frame. So I'm going to have, and then of course I look at the price, like the cheapest one is $3.98 for me here. And that is a seven by 11, almost an eight by 12, but it's not going to be quite. Sometimes I don't do the outside diamonds because it's going to go in an eight by 10 frame instead of a seven by whatever. So you got, that was only $3.98 for that size. Now, a 498 frame is 11 by 11, which is 12 by 12. That's going to be a square picture. Square picture frames, I think, are harder to find. So, I don't want a square. So, I'm just going to go with this cheapest one. I think I'm going to order these for Christmas for my grandkids, their own picture. I'm going to get the 8 by 12. It's really 7.87 by 11.81. So, really, that's an almost 8 by almost 12. An 8 by 12. Do they come that size? You might have to make it 10 instead of 12. Let's look at some other sizes. Um, that's a, 11 by 11, a 12 by 12. That's a square. Oh, here's a $12.11. How big is it? 
Oh, 20 by 24. I don't want that big. Here's a 359, and what size is it? 7 by 7. That's a square. I don't want square. Here's one. A 14 by 14, only 359. That is the cheapest one I've seen. Okay, I'm going to get it. All right, so here it is. I'll put the link down below for you. Okay, in the, you have, I don't know if you can do it on the laptop. You have to do it on your phone. So I'm going to press that. Okay, then it says add to your cart, but it says upload to the image you want. So you push that and it'll go, you're going to take a picture. No, we don't, I have to take 14, 15 of them before I could even find one. Select from album. Yes. I want to select from my album. And then all your album pictures that you've taken with your phone from the beginning of time are there. And so you pick one. Now, I did one the other day, but I don't remember what I ordered. I don't want two of them. Do I want a picture of Jamie? I do have some flowers here that were Hillary's flowers that were very pretty. I don't want that. Oh, I wish I could remember what picture I ordered just a couple days ago. But, you know, you could do this. And if you like doing them, then make them for them and give it to them. You could have a picture of Jesus that you took, copied, stole from somebody on the air. You could have a picture of your dog. Oh, I should do that. I should have a picture of Tilly. I don't want one. Look at my neck right here. Is it still all red where she's like scratched me? trying to kiss me, and I push her away. And I'm just like, get out of my face, dog. Dog. I know she gets so excited, and I don't think she understands English. Like, get down. Oh, here's a darling picture of Brooklyn. In London, my granddaughters, those are cute. But... Would they want to do themselves? I could do my cinnamon rolls. I could do me holding a $100 bill. I wonder why I have that. Oh, but anyway, you choose your picture. I got to show you because, you know, oh, here's Ezra. That would be a cute one, but then I'd have it on Credence. Oh, that's a darling picture of Credence. And there's Brinley cute. Jamie's fish. I could do a koi picture. That could be cool. And then give it to him for Father's Day or something. Then I'd have to hang it somewhere. But it would be cool. Except it's mostly water. You got to look at the colors too. If you want those colors. I could get it and then just hang it in the sunroom. Okay. So I picked the picture. And it, it takes, goes round and round. Okay, here's the image, see, right here. Then it has corners, and you have to make the corners fit where they tell you to fit it. You know, like it needs to be bigger, enlarged into their fitting corners. Now, that was a little tricky for me to do, because I'm not very good at it, but you might be better at it than me. And you just have to, like, move the squares to the picture. All right. Oh, that's going to be cute. But I want to be sure to get the fish in there more than the water because the fish are the cool part. Okay. See, I made it fit the picture. And that's all you do. And then you put add to cart. It says to ensure print quality, we recommend uploading a high definition JPEG or PNG image no larger than 15 MB. By submitting your personalization, you agree to these terms and conditions. I guess I do. All right. So then you just push add to the cart. And then let's see. It is done. And that's only three fifty nine for a 14 by 14. Oh, that's lovely. But what I do is I get my frame ahead of time and I put it on top. I spread the diamond art. It's not done yet. I spread it out and mark where the size of the, take the glass out of the frame and use that to mark 
how big your frame is. Then you don't have to waste all your time doing the edges that you're not even going to frame, you know? So think of that. But start out small if you're young. But I am going to order these for the girls' birthdays because they love diamond art for a picture of themselves. Like, I want to get one for uh, Brinley, Brooklyn, I mean. When's her birthday? I know London's is December, but I think Brooklyn's. She's working on one right now. But I'll do it later because I don't want to, you know, you don't want to hear all that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do. I hope that helped you do it because I think that is the biggest value for your money, for gifts for somebody. And then buy, go to the used place and buy a picture frame the right size. Go to, you know, Goodwill or something. They have cheap picture frames that are nicer than you can buy in the Dollar Tree or Walmart or something. I mean, for the price. Because, you know, our whole goal in life is to get a deal to spend less. I'm sorry. That's what I go for. Okay, next I want to show you this. And next I'll tell you this. I'm going to have a giveaway. I know I don't usually do them. I want to see something. I want to see how many subscribers I have right now. I haven't checked it in a few days. So we're going to see. All right. We're going to see how many subscribers I have. And that will help me decide how, when I should do the giveaway. And the giveaway is going to be, I'm going to put in one of my purses I crocheted, the coin purses, not a big one, because I'm not giving those away, sorry. I have 4,000, I mean, yeah, 4,700 and, and of course I touched it, 4,760 subscribers. So, I still have quite a ways to get to 5,000. How about if when I get to 4,900, I will give the giveaway. And I have a lot of stuff around here that I'm going to put in this box. The box is small. It's small stuff I'm putting in the box because I want to put more stuff in it. Fun little stuffs that anyone would like. <laughs> so... Um, and what I'm going to do is instead of doing a drawing and pay, taking all the names and stuff, I'm going to read every message and then I'm going to say, and what you do is you comment and say why you want to be the winner, why you should be the winner. So like if you say, um, I should be the winner because it's my birthday, you don't even have to say I because, just say because and then because my mother died, because, you know, I should be the winner because, and then I'm going to choose. I don't know if this is uh, the right rules for YouTube things, giveaways. I don't know, but I did that with the carpet cleaning. This guy in our town was going to give away a free carpet cleaning. This was years ago. Well, you had to write why you wanted, why you needed to be the winner. Well, I, you know, because I'm a little think different outside the box. Well, my grandkids had just come over and they were um, went sledding and they came in and they dropped everything all over my floor. All their shoes, their coats, their bags. Blah, blah, blah. And it, it was just a long string of all this mess. So I took a picture of it and then I sent it to him and I said, because I have 30 grandchildren coming and dropping everything on my carpet all the time. I won. And then when he was done, I tipped him $50. He goes, no, you don't have to tip me. And I go, hey, it was worth $50 to me to get the carpet clean, and I want to pay a little. But that's what you're going to do then for the giveaway. Just say why you think you should win and get a prize in the mail. Like, you know, you're depressed, You're and I'm going to choose one of them. So you can tell me anything that why you should win. Because you're lonely, you have nobody, to, you don't know anybody, you have no friends, you, your TV broke, or anything, I don't know. But anyway, give me a reason, and I'll pick it. And I may do two different winners, because, you know, one winner out of how many people, 4,000 people. Of course, 4,000 people aren't really watching or subscribing. I could look it up right now. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to look up. 
how many people, the analytics, analytics, I can't ever say that word even when I read it. Okay, research. Maybe it's under research. We can look this all up. Timu Jewelry is real popular. And it tells you like what recent videos that are the best. Seven wearable spring trends for women. 69,000 views she got. So all of these, they tell you the, the um, most expensive Tibu items. Yeah, you got to buy it. What if you just tell about it? Look them up and say this is it. All right. It tells you your uh, top content. And mine was Timu Things That Nobody Ordered was my biggest content now. Real time, 13,789 views in 48 hours. I don't know what that means even. It always goes up and down, up and down. Views, 177.9 thousand views means nothing to me. How viewers find you. Browse features, suggested videos, 26%. All right, I don't even do the shorts. The shorts are just worthless to me. So my biggest one was Timu things no one else has ordered. And then Timu, $41, 20 items, whatever that one was. All right, YouTube search, only 31.1 for people typing in material mom and 4% typing under Timu, but Timu Hall only got 2%. So I just need to put Timu, not Timu Hall, huh? All right, house tour got 7.9%. All right, people wanna see that because they're nosy. I'm that way too. When I like somebody, I wanna know everything about them. Tell me about your kids, tell me about your marriages, tell me about your, how, you know, everything. Okay, I'm trying to find out. Oh, returning viewers. 11.1 thousand. I don't know what that means. New viewers. Eh, well, a few. People watch me the most afternoon from 12 to 6. 12 noon to 6 in the, uh, in the evening. Because we're all old people and we don't get up early. We <laughs> go to bed early. Only 7% male and 92% female. User specified 0.1%. Now, I asked Jamie, how can I get the male viewers to watch me more? And guess what he said? Hold a gun to their head. Hurt my feelings. I'm not going to do that. Force them. All right, where is it? It has channels that your viewers watch and hey everybody 12.9 thousand subscribers for hey everybody and then the cheap chick and then mimi's life twisted gypsy i never watched her and kitty street i never watched her you guys have i guess this is interesting to know this Shannon D, never heard of her. This and that and everything. Heather Otis, The Misty Show, Couponing Girl, Jacqueline's Halls, Retail Therapy on a Budget, and Menopause Madness. I didn't watch them. Actually, I don't watch much because I'm too busy watching the news and stuff. The, I like the Baltimore. Today, I just watched the Baltimore Bridge and how everything's going. They need to make the ship that ran into the bridge pay, not the government. It's my opinion. Well, I forgot what I was even looking at now. I'm trying to look at how many of my audience viewers, right? Oh, the age is... 36% are 55 to 64 years old. 45.9% are over 65. 13 to 17 years old, zero. Now that's a lie because all my grandkids that are that age watch me. They didn't even make it on there. You know why? It's because they aren't even 
YouTube subscribers. They can't do it. 18 to 24, 0.2%. Those are my grandkids. Only 7% male and 92.9% .9 female. United States, 74.8%. United Kingdom, 7.9%. And Canada, 7%. Well, where's Australia? We got Australia people watching. Oh, here it is. I found it, what I was looking for. Watch time from subscribers. Um, subscribe people is 61%, not subscribed 39%. All right. So, more of my people who watch should subscribe to me. And then it has your revenue. And my, in January, I only started getting paid in January and then February and then March ongoing. But then you have to wait until April 20th to get paid for March, you know, takes them a long time. They have it. You should Google it. How many YouTube channels are there? It's like over a million. And then how many YouTube channels actually make it and how many fail i looked it up but i forgot because you know i gotta write it down or i forget because my memories never was it's not old it never was good okay i'm going to show you this because i know like hey everybody she has nail problems all the time and they pop off because they're fake and but she said that her own nails are getting longer than the fake nails and I know a lot of you do that. Your own fingernails have grown underneath the fake ones. So why aren't you just wearing your fake nails? Because they're too thin, right? And if you just have your own nail, it'll peel and break because it's too fragile. Well, that's why it was me. Maybe some people have more calcium in their system. All right. So I'm going to show you what I do. And I showed a long time ago. But I noticed those long, long time ago videos I made in November, December and stuff. Nobody's watching them anymore, really. And they're not going back. All right. So what you do is you buy this Orly Gel Fix Builder in a Bottle. You know, my lighting is bad because I have these light time, big lights on, but. Anyway, it's on Amazon. You go on Amazon. Now, I'm not a nail person. I never, I mean, I probably had my nails done at a salon three times. And that two of them were when I was single back in 1989. You know, that's how long ago. And then I went, one time I went here in town for some reason, some unknown reason. I don't know. All right. So your nail, here's my own nail. And, you know, it's getting pretty long. But it's very thin. If I go like this, it would just break. So what you do is you rough it up with the file. Don't go too deep. My daughter-in-law, she went too deep. And it was hurting because it was, you know, ugh. I don't know how thick nails are. But you don't want to get it any thinner than it is. Unless you have those crow beak nail, toenails. Whew. My alcoholic husband. His toenails were so thick, it was like crow beaks. I told him that. Your toenails are like crow beaks. Sanding them, sanding them, trying to make them thinner so they wouldn't look like a crow beak. And then I divorced him, and I'm thinking, I still thought, who's going to file his crow beaks down? Nobody. You know, I still loved him, even though he beat me up. and he. But I had to divorce him, to, or I was going to die. He was going to kill me. And I had to go to therapy to learn how to not love somebody who beat me up. And why did I still love him? Okay, you file that down. That's a whole other subject. Go watch my stocking video. Not stockings, but stalk, stalking. My husband, he doesn't say, I'm going to put on my socks. He get, He says, stockings. I need my stockings. I'm like, Jamie... What year did your mother teach you to do that? All right, this is rubbing alcohol. You got to have it, and you got to have this Orly, O-R-L-Y, gel fix, builder in a bottle. And it's on Amazon, and it's like $26, $25. It's a lot, but it lasts a year. Me, it does anyway. All right, I cleaned it with the alcohol. 
because you want to kill the germs. You do not want germs and get fungus on your nails. And that's what home people have a problem with because we have to be clean like the professionals. Get professional. I'm not a professional. Now, this stuff will never dry unless, see, it's wet around here still. It will never dry unless you put it under the curing light. So you need that L E D L E I I don't know. I have this one and I have this one right here. They don't make the cords long enough. So that's why I got this one. And this was on Timu for like a dollar and it works. All right. So you get this Ortel gel, Orly, Orly. It's my favorite thing. My sister-in-law, the one who's ninth cousin from Lucille Ball, she told me about this. I don't know if she still does it. All right, you do not want to get it on your skin. Don't do that. I don't know what will happen if you do, but... And you paint this stuff on, and it's real thick. You paint it on your own fingernail. And if you, you can watch another YouTube about it, and they'll tell you about how to do it, orally gel, and they'll tell you, a professional person will maybe, they're professional. And like, you could build it up and stuff, and you're supposed to like, put more in the middle and all, I, I don't do that. I just put it all smooth. And don't go too close to the edges, but be sure you go, I find, go, make sure you go around the edge a little. Okay, put this on there tight. Cause you don't, and don't get it near the alcohol. All right. Now see, I painted it. Can you see it? Okay. Then get your light. And we have to wait 45 seconds. And I just like doing one finger at a time. I'm going to have to do this one too. But all of these other ones, I have two fake ones on this hand because if your fingernail breaks down to the quick, that looks horrible with four beautiful nails and then one broken down to the quick. They're like, what do you do? So that's when I glue on a fake nail that is similar to the fingernail polish I use. Now you could just leave it with this if you wanted the clear shiny nails, but I, did, I never did. I forgot to time it. Oh my. But I am allergic to gel nail polish, and I'm not allergic to this. When I put gel nail polish and cure it with the light in the middle of the night, soon after, because I did it at night, you know, and then I go to bed for Sunday or something, and in the night I wake up and my thing, my finger will be all red and burning. I can't get that stuff off fast enough. It's horrible. Itching, red, burning. I tr and I, So I was allergic, and it took me forever to cure my fingers. And then I got cured. So then a little time went on. And so then I thought, I'm going to try it again. Maybe I'm that was something else. So then I tried just on one fingernail, the gel stuff. In the night, it did it. I'm never, I'm giving all my gel fingernail polish away. I can't do it. And I researched it, and it said... Some people are allergic and they never get over it. I don't even want to try it again. So I buy the Orly or the, what's that other brand that's really good? OPI, fingernail polish that doesn't have to have the light and it doesn't have whatever in it. But this has a light on this and it doesn't affect me. I'm not a scientist, a lab technician. Okay, then after the seconds, then you get the rag. Remember I told you, cut up your husband's old white t-shirts for your rags. And I wash them even. And it doesn't matter because I don't like hairs and stuff off of tissues. Okay, then you just rub this with the rubbing alcohol. I forgot to show you. If you touched it, it's hardened, but it's sticky. The alcohol gets the stickiness off. Okay, don't use fingernail polish, remember. You use out rubbing alcohol. They sell a product, too, that, that a cure that you can use. But it must be just alcohol, because they work the same. And rubbing alcohol is the cheapest. All right, I do three coats. I forgot to show you the before and after. Sorry. 
I'll do it. I will do it, though. Okay, then you put on another coat right over it. And I think it's self-leveling kind of stuff because one YouTube guy I watched and they said, hold it upside down like this. I don't know why, because I forget to do that sometimes. But I think it's kind of like self-leveling. All right. So now we're going again. I guess I should time it this time because I could keep talking forever. Anyway, I went to do I went to do the temple, went to my temple and did my worshiping. <laughs> you probably what the heck do you do at the temple? And anyway, I did that. It takes and it was 2 hours and I'm out of there. And then I feel so good cuz I went. And then you get to see a movie and they teach you about the creation and about um the Bible creation and Adam and Eve and stuff. And I love going. Okay, then after that, then I went to the grocery store because I'm going to start my 300 calorie a meal dieting. I really want the diet pill to make it easy, but you got to go to the doctor and everything. And, and they don't really work like they used to, Phentermine. I need to take two a day, but they don't let you have that. And what's Ozemic or something? But well, you can't get into the doctor for a month. And then you still have to eat low calories, so I'm just going to do it. 300 calories. I bought the diet yogurt, Yoplait yogurts. They're 80 calories to 80 to 100 calories for a Yoplait yogurt. And then I bought those diet Michelins or somebody, diet dinners. And they're less than, I get the ones less than 300 calories, and that's my dinner. And then I say um, 1,000 calories a day diet. And then... Usually I have a snack and it brings it up to like 1,200 calories a day. But that's how I have to lose. I don't burn enough calories to eat more than that. Are you timing it? I am. I'm still a little bit longer. And then I got a big bag of romaine lettuce. Don't get iceberg lettuce. That's a junk food lettuce. Get romaine. And then I got those dinners. And then I got, um, I didn't buy any treats proud of me and then anyway I bought what I we already had eggs and stuff like that I got a roast out of the clearance bin I'm gonna cook tomorrow and put the baby carrots and potatoes and oh Jamie will love that meal and then what else did I buy oh they had brown sugar and powdered sugar, those big old bags that were three for five. So I bought two brown sugars and one powdered sugar for my food storage because I'll tell you why. Um, from now on, when the grandkids come over, I'm not going to make a five minute cake. I'm going to make the edible cookie dough and let them eat it in a little bit. And you put them in the snack baggies and they each get some. Because that is easier and yummier. And it's, you don't have to bake it. And it's their treat. And they can help me. So I bought some chocolate chips. They were on sale. And then the brown sugar. You use, you can look it up online. It's quite famous. You just use butter, brown sugar. Tilly, sleep is snoring back here. Jamie had to babysit her when I was gone. I said, how was it? And he said, I let her outside to go pee once. And then when I got home, she's all excited again, like I'd been gone a month. When Trevor gets home, she's going to be real excited. Why don't they calm down? Oh, do all dogs get so excited? Oh, I have a joke for you while we're waiting. All right, here's my joke. There's proof that man, I mean, that dog is man's best friend. And you know how you tell? All right, this is from a man's point of view, that a dog is man's best friend. All right. You put your dog in the trunk and you drive around half hour, two hours, whatever you want. You put your wife in the trunk and drive around for two hours. You get back. You open your trunk. You open the trunk for the wife. What does she do? She's going to divorce you and hate you forever. You open the trunk for the dog and what's the dog do? <laughs> He's all happy to see you. He doesn't hold it against you. So that is how you tell that the dog is man's best friend.
I always laughed at that. I don't usually remember jokes, but that joke I remembered because it was so funny to me. I could just picture it. So a lady could do it too, you know, put your husband in the trunk and drive around. I don't know how you'd get him in the trunk though. It's just a joke. We're not doing it. Okay, now I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this fingernail off. You know, you, they always say soak them and stuff. After they've been on them almost two weeks, I just pop them off. Okay, I'm not flipping you off. I'm just showing you. Now, look how tender and soft it is, right? You can just bend them down. But after you have this on it, they are stronger like a fake nail. Bendy, I know you can't, you can kind of see, see how bendy that is, my own nails. And if I left it like this, they just peel and break off and chip off. And you know, I don't have, my sister Carolyn, oh, she has nails like this just on her own. But, but I'll do tell you one thing that I have that other people have is soft and mine will break if you bend them. I know you're going to enjoy this, and I wonder if yours do this. My ears. Some people can just bend their ear right down and fold it over and stuff. My cartilage, in my if I bend it down, it will break. I will have broken ears, and I'll have to go to the doctor and get a cast on my ear cartilage. And so people try to do, I no, do not touch my ear. That will break. Mine don't bend. Mine, I don't have floppy ears. I guess I don't have any rabbit blood in me at all. Okay, so I'm throw away. And I will do it to this one now, too, because I'm ready. That's why I say when I'm in a hurry, I just glue fake ones on because, you know, that takes two seconds. Whereas when you do this, you got to do it three times and wait. And, and then I have my fingernail polish that's the same color as my fake nails. Well, kind of. And then I will just paint over with my, so I don't order green nails and all those weird colors because I'm like the Royals. Did you know the Royals are not allowed to wear loud fingernail polish? They only can wear like Princess, what's her name, Kate? She has to wear like nude colors. They have favorite colors. Oh, great. There was a hair. I have to start over. Quick, quick, get it off. You have to hurry fast. Okay, it came off. There's a hair. Okay, let's start over. I didn't want to go get my fingernail polish remover, so I wiped it off fast and start over. It's probably because Tilly's hair, she's getting it everywhere on my skirt. Now, I ordered this um, sweater, you know, the thin sweaters from Temu. So we have to wear dresses to the temple when you go. You don't get to wear pants at all. You gotta dress your best. So I wore this sweater and this is not black. They're brown leaves. And I wore it, I had a brown wool skirt long that I have had for 29 years. I made it when I moved here because of the cold weather. And people say, well, get rid of that. No, it's just a basic brown straight wool skirt with a slit. So I wore it with it. I'll stand up and show you this. But I have dog hair on me now. Scoot back. Giving up my chair. You're crowding. So, um, she has to be touching me all the time. When is this week going to be over? Okay, so I hope I helped you a little and entertained you. And I'm going to do this fingernail now. And then I only will have my two baby fingers. No, this one's still long, but I was in a hurry, so I glued one on. But this one is the broken one down to the quick because I didn't put the oily stuff on it, and it broke in the meantime. And it just bent right down where your finger is. So mad. So I had to put a fake one on there and a fake one on here because I was in a hurry. So, but now I'm going to have one, two, three, four five, six, seven real ones, and three fake ones. Maybe by Sunday, I'll have all 10. No, I only can have nine at the most. Does it matter? No. Does it make me have more friends? No. Do people like me better? No. Does it make me richer? No. Make my husband love me more? No. None of those things. So why do we care?
We'll still have the same friends if we have little nub shorts, bitten fingernails, or if we have <sighs> manicured. I don't know why. Okay, subscribe and like. And remember the giveaway we're going to have, but you'll hear about it again. And just write in the comments why you think you should win. And if you're under 18, you can't comment. I probably, I don't have any of those <laughs> watchers though. <laughs> I heard somebody say that. And we're not supposed to, we're just saying, we, we don't want to say the words that the bots will get in involved in it. But I don't know that, how that works either. So order your diamond art and I'll link it below. So, but, but all you have to do is type in personalized diamond art and all of them will come up so you can choose your size and what, you know, how much you want to spend. Because you could get huge, I don't know how big they go. I'm sure it's all computerized. And I'm so mad I dropped my box with my diamonds in it. Oh, what a mess down there. I got to clean that up. I might as well just sit on the floor to do my diamond art. Look how tired I am and my eyes are like, mm. I'll, I'll confess, this is nighttime. It is 7.35 at night. So you're going to watch it in the morning though on Thursday. Have a good Thursday. All right. Goodbye.